Amam and Yir has done it again. This is the highly anticipated Amam and Yir While You Were Sleeping Jordan 3 that released August 20th for a retail price of $225. On today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive into this shoe and tell you how good it is and whether or not it's worth the resale price. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Seattle Sneaker Guy and I drop a lot of YouTube content every single Sunday. I post a new video, whether it be an outlet video or a review video. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. It does a lot to help grow this channel. We are currently at 6,500 subscribers. I'm trying to hit that 10K goal. So if you're watching this, please help me out and hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we're taking a look at the most highly anticipated Jordan 3 of the entire year, part of Ama Minier's six pack, the Ama Minier Jordan 3 while you were sleeping. The first thing that I noticed is Ama Minier got rid of that annoying plastic box sleeve. That box sleeve was so hard to get on and off of your shoe box. <laughs> as you were trying to get them out to wear or even trying to grab extra laces. It was a real pain in the ass and I'm glad that they finally went away from that. So as soon as I saw that really cool box, you know I had to bust it open. open sesame. And as soon as I busted it open, I saw the A and the 10 right there on the top in that nice silver, commemorating Amam and Year's 10 year anniversary. Then once you flip that box lid open, you can see that beautiful silver reflected on the top of the box lid with the Amam and Year A printed all over. Once you flip open that box lid, you'll notice a really nice silk maroon cover. That cover is just an extra thing in the sneaker that helps elevate it and in my opinion, makes it a little more fancy. Very demure very mindful but again you don't wear the box so let's take a look at the actual sneaker now this isn't the first time we've seen a jordan 3 from am am and year it takes a lot of the same inspiration from its predecessor and adds a new twist to it just like the original release you get that soft tumbled leather but this time in black And on the mud guard, you are met with the same exact gray suede that was on the last pair of Amma Manier 3s, and I think that suede is probably my favorite part. It makes this shoe feel a little more luxurious, makes it feel a little fancier, and definitely makes it worth the $225 retail price. Moving on to the lateral side of the sneaker, you are met with that same luxurious black leather, nice and tumbled and soft to the touch. And continuing on to the heel, again, you're met with that same hairy suede material wrapping around the heel, really tying this shoe together. On the medial side of the sneaker, you are met with that same black leather and suede detailing. Again, just super duper soft. Like I feel like this shoe will wear in really nicely. The most notorious heel tab in the game, you are met with the Nike Air in cream with a black heel backdrop. I really like this touch. I think it ties into the aged aesthetic and overall colorway that Amma Minier has continued to put out. And another big feature that people notice right away is that aged midsole. You get your black panel on the back, that cream running throughout, and your air unit right there. And honestly, I think the aged look on the midsole really works well for Amma Minier collaborations as they use a lot of the same color palettes and I think it ties together with the rest of the sneakers in the Amma Minier collection really well. Along the ankle collar, you are met with this really nice perforated suede in that violet ore colorway that we've seen on the Jordan 4s that released a few years ago. It is that same shade of violet. That same suede violet or color can be found on the tongue, which is also perforated, but decorated at the top with something a little different. As you can see here, you do get your classic traditional Jumpman embroidered in black. And on the other sneaker, you get the Ama Minier A embroidered in the same color. And one thing that has become a staple in Amma Minier collaborations is that quilted sock liner. This shoe is no different. You get that violet or sock liner that really adds a level of luxury again to the sneaker, making it feel a little more expensive. And it also gives you a little plush cushioning. Just more 
cushion for the pushing. Moving on to the sole of the sneaker, you have your traditional Jordan 3 sole, but this time it does have the cement gray and the cups are at that violet or accented by that nice cream underneath the Nike logo. One thing I really do enjoy too is you get three different lace options. You get the cream, which I threw in immediately, you also get a black flat lace and a violet or flat lace. On the back of the hill tab, we have yet another hidden message. Do something about it. Do something about it. That you do have while you were sleeping printed underneath the insole. Amma Manier has become one of the biggest, most consistent collaborators when it comes to Jordan brand and Nike, dropping a plethora of different models and colorways over the years. And I will say this six collection has me really excited. You have good shoes like the threes behind me. You have the Amma Manier Jordan 4s coming out in that white colorway. And you also have the Air Max 95s, which personally I think is going to be my favorite of the entire collection. I was able to hit on the Amma Manier website, which is something very rare because a lot of the reviews I bring to you guys are from StockX, GOAT, or other resale sites. So again, I really do appreciate when you guys do subscribe because it helps me get some money so I can buy these shoes to review for you guys. I'm broke! And you got the power to change that cat. Now let's talk about the resale market. As you all know, the resale market is not doing great right now. It's awful. It's all fucking awful. Now a lot of shoes are sitting a little bit above retail or under retail in a lot of cases. The Amma Minier Jordan 3 is no different. At a retail price of $225, you can get a similar price right now on StockX or GOAT. It's a great thing because if I miss out on something, I usually have to hit the resale sites. And now that sneakers are kind of dipping in their value, I'm able to grab more pairs, which makes every sneakerhead a little happier. This Amma Manier Jordan 3 is not as good as the original, but I definitely think it uses a lot of the same materials and a lot of the same features as the original release. It's hard to rate this sneaker because I can't take the fact out of my mind that there was a white pair that I think is leaps and bounds better than this black pair. But this black pair is still very, very good, but do I think it is the best of the current collection coming out? Absolutely not. In my opinion, based off just pictures and shoes that I've seen early, the Amma Minier Jordan 4 coming out is a better sneaker. And I do think that the Air Max 95 is going to be a better overall sneaker than the Amma Minier Jordan 3s. Now let's talk about official rating on this sneaker. The materials are a 10 out of 10. The packaging is a 10 out of 10. The storytelling, again, 10 out of 10. But the overall sneaker, I'm having trouble with this because I do like it. I really do like this sneaker. I've worn it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It is a great, great sneaker. But if I'm gonna be honest, the colorway on this shoe doesn't exactly invoke the same feelings as the original Amma Manier a few years ago. And if I had to give it an overall rating out of 10 based on everything that we've talked about, I, I gotta give this a 7.2 out of 10. It's not bad, it's above average, it's very good. Is it great? No, not in my opinion. But I wanna know, what do you guys think of the Amma Manier Jordan 3s? Is this the best colorway of the current pack coming out or do you agree with me that it is behind the Jordan 4 and Air Max 95? Let me know what you would rate these between 1 and 10. And as always, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Until next time, stay blessed. Peace.